Hi, I have in front of me a 2 megapixel IP PTZ camera with a 4G uh, SIM card network set up via this router. Um, it's a kit that we sell directly from freetv.ie. The PTZ itself has incredibly uh, high specs. It's 2 megapixel, it's 10 zoom and it's 50 meter IR. And the idea of this kit is to have a, a, a virtually plug and play PTZ uh, system that is um, independent would say of any broadband connection so you can work it directly off your uh, 4g connection as long as you have a mass in your area which is virtually the entire country and uh, what it means then is that um, you're able to uh, set this up in an extremely easy no contract type of manner if you wish so you don't have to worry about infrastructure there and it also makes it extremely portable that you can actually move this kit to a different location as you need just plug it in and it'll automatically work directly onto your phone. So I'll go through exactly how we do it uh, in terms of, but I'll start off by talking about the kit that we get with it and what we've done to try to make this process um, as plug and play as simple for our customers, okay? So there's three basic components on it. We have the router itself with the SIM card and with the PTZ, okay? So I'm gonna start off and talk about, about the router itself too. So it's a TP-Link router and uh, what's special about it here is that on the back of it we have an actual insert here and we can insert our SIM card directly into it here. So it means that we don't need to bring a broadband connection into it. What it can do is it can work directly off the 4G network with the SIM card inside it. So um, if we look at how what we've done in terms of pre-configuring this, what we've done is we get the router, we pre-configure, we put in an SSID number, a password, a DDNS, and also a port number here. And it just means that people on this um, router, when they come along, um, uh, to have exactly what they need to, to put the settings to match this directly into their smartphone because obviously you'll need to view this in the end from the smartphone. Uh, we have a SIM card here and the SIM card that we're using is tree, uh, the Tree Network. So this is a prepaid card, uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment, but the reason we've gone with Tree is it's the fastest network that we tested and also it's the only one with the port forwarding features we need to get this to work seamlessly first time every time. Uh, in relation to uh, the cost of it, things like that, you're probably looking for, uh, for the allowances that we looked at at about 20 euros a month. So we, we have, uh, by default, you can have a, a, a prepaid 30-day uh, SIM card with it. Uh, and it starts counting down from the moment that you actually activate the SIM card. Or the other option is um, that you go for a contract basis where uh, the fees there are, uh, are somewhat lower. And the big advantage of it is, is that at the end of the 30 day period, it just rolls over and rolls over with the contract there being either a 30 day or an 18 month contract, depending on what you want. You can see full terms on the 3G uh, connection or the tree uh, website. Um, the, the, and the, the, I suppose the disadvantage then, just to mention it, of the prepaid is that at the end of the 30 days, if you forget to renew, if you go to log in your PTZ, it won't work because you won't have any broadband connection for it. So um, just say you, you go with the prepaid option with us, uh, what you can do is you can activate it yourself when you get it, or you can get us to activate uh, the SIM card. And when I say activate, what you do is you'd simply come along, you insert the SIM card, which breaks out here, and it just inserts directly in here. And what you could do then is you could use your smartphone to connect the, uh, via Wi-Fi to the router itself, try to go on the internet, and it'll activate the SIM card to get you out there. Or you could run uh, a LAN cable from a laptop directly into it, turn it on that way, or you can just get us to do it. The disadvantage of uh, getting us to do it is it starts ticking away from the moment you turn it on. Uh, the advantage of it is it just takes another step out of it, where you have literally a kit that's uh, pl plug and play almost. So that's uh, what we have exactly in terms of uh, the router, the SIM card, and the final part of the jigsaw is the PTZ, which we can see here, okay? So um, to connect the router to the PTZ, which would be a permanent connection, what we do is we just get this LAN cable here, we plug it directly into the back of this unit here, and we're just going to use that LAN connection there. We're just going to LAN port 1, and we're going to go into um, the LAN port directly on the PTZ itself. And then the only thing, we, other thing we need here with the PTZ is to plug in the power unit that comes with it. So if we look at the actual PTZ here itself, what we can see is this is the overall size of it, we have a bracket on it. So what you're going to do is when you, when you receive the kit initially, you just find a, a safe dry location to store your um, router, you mount your PTZ where you need it, and you connect it to them uh, via the LAN cable, and you connect the power unit going directly to it, okay? So that's step number one. And then once you have that done, the next step is to actually come along and set it up so you can view it on your smartphone. And that again is an extremely uh, simple process. 
So just move this out of the way again. So what you'll do is you'll go on. Uh, we have a document on the website here just explaining the name of the, uh, the app, downloading it uh, directly from Google Play or um, from the App Store. And when you go in, initially you'll go in and you'll set it up directly. Uh, just go into, let's say, your smartphone, settings, Wi-Fi, and then use the Wi-Fi connection to connect directly into the um, uh, router. And then you would actually be able to view it at that point. But the main point of actually logging in via the Wi-Fi when, you're, when the phone is in close proximity to the PTZ is we get to actually enter all the settings that we have pre-configured in the router directly into um, the phone. Uh, app and you just come along and I've hidden these here it's the SSID the password the DDNS and the port number here and the reason is that some of these settings are specific to your router they're secret to it and you don't want other people to know because if they did know it they'd be able to log into your router and see your camera which presumably is not what you want and what we're doing here is we're doing it individually different settings for every single customer okay for every router that goes out so we have that we have it configured up and what you do then at that stage is you can turn off the local area Wi-Fi and then just log directly Directly into your PTZ by the 3G network and you'll see that you're able to access it directly as before you're able to control the PTZ zoom it and um, spin it all that type of stuff and the thing is that now you're able to access it right next to it but also if you're a hundred miles away or indeed in a different country you can still we'll say um, log in we'll say and be able to access uh, your PTZ in that manner so um, it, I, I think what we've done here, because we put a lot of thought into it, is extremely good, and the customer reaction we've got so far off people is just exactly what they want. They want a PTZ where they just take it out of the box, come along, they don't need any broadband connection. And picture a scenario where you come along and you're on a building site, you want to protect your thing, you have some alarm system set up, the alarm goes off, you log in, and you can work the PTZ, and then you're moving to a new location. Well, instead of now needing any special uh, technical expertise, all the rest of it, all you do is you take down your router, you take down your PTZ, you put it up in a new location, and it'll just work exactly as it did before because, you know, you've made the entire system so portable. So it's really clever. So we've added it on for two reasons. Basically, number one, because customers kept asking us first, and number two is there is other systems out there to do it, but what there are is really complicated, expensive systems. But everything that's in this, like we have a really high quality P, uh, PTZ camera here, uh, but we have an off the shelf um, uh, router here, uh, the LAN cable of the, uh, the app, it's just a free app we put down directly onto the phone. So what we're able to do is build up a really, really excellent kit at, at effectively, um, um, you know, much lower cost than any of our competitors on the thing. And I think we have a better product than any of our competitors in relation to this because it's just better designed and more usable. And the, the level of tech, technical expertise you need to buy this kit and get it up and working is extremely low. And the final thing is, if you're making a decision that you actually want to pick up the kit directly from us, if you come along, we'll not alone have this all configured. We can actually set up the app on the phone for you. Uh, and you can have it there up and running in our warehouse before you leave and then when you go home to do it it's just a matter of setting it up plug it in and it'll work guaranteed simply because it's exactly the same regardless of where you're setting it up